In our mouth, the salivary gland is there, which will secrete the saliva. When we are chewing the food, it will get mixed with the food. So when saliva will mix with the food, it will break down the starch into simple sugar. That is the function of saliva. When it will get mixed with the food, it will break down the starch into simple sugar. Here we are conducting one activity that is activity 2.3 and will understand what is the function of saliva when it is getting mixed with the food, how it is changing our food. So for this we have taken two types of boiled rice in two taste tube. This is a taste tube 1, this is taste tube 2. In taste tube 1 we have taken boiled rice and 3 to 4 ml of water we are taking that we have kept it into this. Into Another taste tube, we have taken boiled rice but before taking that we are chewing it little bit so that our saliva will get mixed with it and after that we are taking out that rice and we are taking that rice into this taste tube which has saliva mixed into it and we are adding 3 to 4 ml of water. Now after making this two taste tube ready, we are adding two to three drops of iodine. Now iodine is an indicator. Indicator will show a presence of one specific substance. It will indicate something. Now iodine has a property when it will come in a contact with starch, it will show blue or black color. We have seen this in earlier chapter also and we are checking the presence of starch in leaves. It will give us blue and black patches on the green leaves. The similarly, we are checking the presence of starch in boiled rice. So, in both of this test tube, we are adding 2 to 3 drops of iodine which will act as an indicator. So, here the rice which are boiled will show us blue color but the rice which are boiled and chewed which has saliva mixed into that, it will not show us any blue color. Because whatever starch is there into the chewed rice has been converted into simple sugar. Because our saliva which is one type of enzyme. It is also known as salivary amylase. So that has converted starch into simple sugar. So there is no starch in taste tube B. So we will not be able to see any color change in taste tube B. Whereas we will be able to see the color change in taste tube A in which we can see the presence of starch but will not be able to see the presence of starch in taste tube B. That's why we have to chew our food properly and then we have to eat it because our digestion process starts from the mouth itself. The saliva has to properly mix with the food where the starch will get converted into simple sugar.